Here are the Edgemeon's Marshmallow Roasting Sticks, which is one of the 9 best roasting sticks that I review on this channel, and we'll be testing them in this video. I bought the pack of 7 option and got a storage pouch along with 7 roasting sticks. I paid about 11 US dollars for it. If you need more, these sticks also come in a massive pack of 15. Here are my personal measurements of the Edgemeon's Marshmallow Roasting Sticks. Extended length, 32 inches or 81 cm. Retracted length, 12 inches or 30 cm. Distance between the tines, 0.75 inches or 2 cm. Weight of one roasting stick. 34 grams or 1.2 ounces, weight of storage pouch, 37 grams or 1.3 ounces, material of rod and tines, stainless steel, material of handle, wood, material of pouch, canvas. The Edgemeon's Marshmallow Roasting Sticks pack down small, but telescope when in use to put you at a safe distance away from the fire. The tips of the handles are all in different colours, and the tips of the tines or prongs are non-sharp, so it's safe for children to use. The canvas storage pouch has a drawstring opening. The Amazon listing for these Edgemeon's Roasting Sticks specifically states there is a rotating axle, but mine did not come with this feature. The Edgemeon's Marshmallow Roasting Sticks can hold 4 marshmallows without flexing too much, but because the tines are quite close together, it's a tight fit to squeeze even 3 or 4 marshmallows at one time. As for roasting hot dogs, the Edgemeon's Roasting Sticks can hold 1 hot dog easily without bending, but starts to flex quite a bit when I try to roast more than that. Here's what it looked like with 2 hot dogs, 3 hot dogs, and also 4 hot dogs. The Edge Meon's Marshmallow Roasting Sticks telescope easily and it remains at the extended length firmly. However, I have to be careful when retracting the Edge Meon Sticks because of the flex. I think that the Edge Meon Sticks have the most flex of any of my stainless steel roasting sticks when trying to retract them. When I used the Edge Meon's Roasting Sticks to roast both marshmallows and hot dogs, the food doesn't slip into the fire even when I hang it vertically downwards because having both tines or prongs go through the food makes it pretty secure. It doesn't come with a rotating axle, but it's not difficult to rotate the sticks just by rotating the handle. Also, having both tines or prongs go through the food keeps the food from spinning. The tines are non-sharp, but I found it, it's easy enough to skewer both hot dogs and marshmallows, but it might be a bit more difficult if you're roasting meat. To clean the Edgemeon's roasting sticks, I just tossed them in soapy water for a couple of hours and they were clean with no residue or marshmallow goo. Apart from stating that the Edgemeon's roasting sticks are made of stainless steel, I could not find any further information on the type of stainless steel and whether it's food safe or food grade. Also, after I soaked my Edgemeon sticks in water for cleaning and I did not dry them after, I noticed a little bit of rust forming on the connecting part of the sticks. But the good thing is that it's not difficult to remove and I could scratch it off. The handle is made of wood and has a smooth finish. It's fixed to both the rod and the colored handle tip firmly. As for the storage pouch, mine had a bit of a chemical smell and feels a bit plasticky even though it's supposed to be canvas. Packing up the sticks into the pouch is easy though and not a tight fit. For pros, I think the biggest selling point is that the Edgemeon's roasting sticks are very inexpensive when you need to make a bulk purchase, like 15 sticks at one time. It also comes in different colours and is easy to clean. As for cons, the quality is definitely not that great. I have no idea what kind of stainless steel you're using, whether it's food safe or food grade, there's a little bit of rust forming too and the pouch smells funny. I also did not like that there's misleading product information on the Amazon listing. It says that the Edgemeon sticks comes with rotating axles, but that's not true. It's also my least sturdy stainless steel roasting stick with the most amount of flex and is also one of my shorter roasting sticks. Basically, it's not meant for heavy duty roasting, but just marshmallows is fine. 
Would I recommend the Etchmion's Marshmallow Roasting Sticks? Well, I guess you could consider it if you're on a tight budget and you need a bulk purchase of these telescoping roasting sticks. The Etchmion Sticks are definitely the least expensive of all the roasting sticks that I have when you make such bulk purchases. But other than that, I don't think it's that great a purchase. The quality is not really up to par. It's my least sturdy stainless steel roasting stick and it's not that long. So it's hard for me to recommend this when there are better options available out there. To check out those other options, here's a video where I bought, tested, and compared 9 of the best roasting sticks. If you prefer to read, my website at campingguidance.com has all this info as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.